Hey, Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Monday sit rep. We got another rundown of restocks and restock pre orders. But as usual, because our printers are hard at work, it's actually what you don't see is the stuff that we want to let you know about first. So we have the D Day US Infantry and the uh, D Day Canadian Infantry available online right now at brickmania.com. Those are two very, very popular minifigures that haven't been around in a while. We also have the British D Day Infantry Minifigure of the Month restocking for what I believe is the final time. So not quite a minifig Monday, but still definitely one that uh, that has lots of minifigs that are gonna go quick. So we had to jump right out in front it's and quite let people release. know. Mm -hmm. So that D-Day US Infantry first minifig to feature the officially licensed via Brick Arms M1 steel pot helmet with that netting. Yeah, the netting's great. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of a, a homage to our earlier design, which we had the uh, to do that by hand, which was, that was like literally painful to, yeah, to do bet. that on your fingers. So this is nice that we can 3D print these and that there's a license for brick arms with that. Um, and you're kind of, we're, we're seeing uh, kind of the evolution of that technology also on this uh, British guy as well. Yeah, for the Brody helmet. So that netting's cool. It's, uh, I think it's just a nice uh, additional level of detail. So. Yeah, and uh, the, with the color matching has come a long way too, so they really, really look good. And I think it kind of even has that just that matte texture to it. It feels right in your yeah. hand, you know? So that's very, very cool. All those minifigs back available online. Since we're already diving into the straight up restocks, let's just keep going with that. Um, Landon's got some cool stuff on the side over here. Propaganda posters. Yeah, like my little arrangement. Isn't yeah. That, isn't that fancy? Some stall helms. Um, yeah, some, some cool printed elements back on back online. Yeah, these, these stall helms are kind of just a classic. Um, mm -hmm. Pick up one, pick up ten, you know. Uh, and then those those posters as well. So Slam put together some really awesome artwork for that. Yeah. Uh, kind of in that um, Lego style. You can see the minifigures on there, but it's uh, based on like actual uh, historical propaganda posters that you would have seen during the time. Uh, this adds a ton of character to uh, your, your diorama or mock. So um, really, just really an another level of detail that you can kind of put into an alley on a building or wherever. They're like Easter eggs you can buy. Yeah. Instead of having to make your own or try to work something into your mock, you can literally pick them up and sprinkle them all over the place. Mm -hmm. And they're definitely eye-catching. So yeah, a, a cool addition to have back in that printed elements category. Just check out the mock accessories. That's where it's all located. Um, also back, this is a cool model. This was like, I love the colors. I love the printing. Yeah, that ambush camo. It's, mm -hmm. So that's sticker printing actually, which I on think the, is- On the barrel, correct. Yeah, on the barrel, that's sticker printing, which I think is actually a pretty good, uh, application of that. It's one of our earlier tests uh, in those clear stickers mm -hmm. and... Um, Got a little stretch to it so you can really wrap. Yeah. Get it nice and tight. Very cool. And you don't have to necessarily uh, put use the stickers on this. This thing is also just... I mean, it's got a cool um, brick built and bush mm -hmm. camouflage look to it. So kind of do what you want with it. Again, bury this inside of one of your dioramas, uh, cover it up with foliage, mm -hmm. something like that. I just love how you've seen the evolution of, of you know, Lego built barrels and, and brick arms being able to bring that, that real tapering to it. And then yeah. that, obviously that muzzle brake just really kicks it to the next level. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can brick build that in, in, you know, with using your own pieces, but this is, it's, it's kind of like you can never really recreate that taper. So this is, right. I think, a good application of, uh, of that as well as the muzzle brake. Right? Muzzle brakes are just, they're kind of cool, cool in and of themselves. So. Absolutely. Yeah, it adds a, it adds a ton, and then I like that the the breach, you know, obviously big enough to fit in those uh, those brick arm shells, so you can really kind of like with a lot of our artillery pieces, you add some minifigures, you add some brick arm shells, a little landscaping, and boom, you've got a you've got a mini mock ready to go. Fun weekend projects, you know, right. because the actual kit builds themselves, they really don't take that long. Right. Yeah, very cool. Moving on to our restock pre-orders, um, we actually have one here that is not pictured as well, and that is the uh, the flat car that this fits beautifully on top of. So that is the 148 scale Easy 8. So yeah, that's a different scale than what we typically All of this is, yeah, right. Uh, what we typically build in, um, and that's to kind of go along with an existing kind of um, the, the standard for Lego train builders seems mm -hmm. to be about this scale. So um, we have our own collection that we're slowly releasing stuff for. This is this has been out for a while. Yep. Obviously, but uh, it, it is a cool different scale that uh, I think would be eye catching on any train layout. Mm -hmm. The uh, the um, Mohawk. Locomotive, I think we just sold through the most recent batch of that during our impromptu Mad Minute sale not too, not too long ago here. Uh, and so I know there's a couple of people, at least a couple of people out there who have some, some pretty mighty engines who need, uh, who need some cars to be able to pull. So we yep. wanted to make sure that we had this stuff back in action and, and ready to go. Uh, moving the tank, this uh, New York Central caboose here is like 
a picture perfect example of cross element printing. Yeah. Look at this when it comes around on the on the side here. Printed on both sides. Really, yeah. really impressive work. That's not just that's yeah, that's, that's printing, it's not a sticker. Very mm -mm. That was a while ago. I, I put together I think I put together the artwork for that one that was okay. a while ago. I yep, think. lots of printing on this bad boy. Now this one does use stickers, but it uses one of my favorite sticker systems that we've had, and that is kind of where you get to imply or apply the entire sheet at once, mm -hmm. and then pull kind of like a car decal almost. Well, and this is how. Ooh, <laughs> nice catch. <laughs> get out of here. B roll. Like. It rolls very very well on those uh, brick model railroad. Well, that's actually another like selling point is that that's there's something to note there is these are um, those special. Um, Wheels and couplers. Yeah, it, there's like super low friction uh, customized um, bearings in there. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas if you were to just use the stock Lego wheels and axles, I'm just waiting for this to roll. There it went again. <laughs> Better keep an eye on it. <laughs> Put the parking brake on here. Um, so it, it does, as you can see, it rolls incredibly smooth. Um, if it was just a stock Lego, you could maybe only have, I don't, I don't know the exact number, but you could only have a handful of cars, but um, this greatly, greatly increases the number of uh, train cars that you can have being pulled around your track. So as a nice addition, clearly made by people that are um, <laughs> waiting for it, clearly made by people who are fans uh, and, and, and train <laughs> fanatics, fanatics yeah. uh, uh, train fans, train fanatics, mm -hmm. you're right? Um, couplers, the KD couplers, that's the, another industry standard. Yeah, but that, that's what you want to see, you know, you want to see that uh, yeah. people who are passionate putting these models together because that's when you get the transition into something that looks as clean and awesome as this does. But yeah, what you, what you were originally saying with the stickers is that's this is applied as one giant piece. That's kind of how the decal, like uh, decals in the in the modeler world, that's a standard thing to do and now mm -hmm. we're taking that and applying it to uh, Lego models. So right. that's, oh. Get this out of here. I'm done. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> uh, but yeah, they, they apply really, really clean. And as you can see, you definitely do not have to worry about putting on each one of those individual letters because that'd be a nightmare. Um, so yeah. I really, really like that. Other than that, let me check to make sure that we got everything on our list. It looks like that covers everything available on Restock and Restock Pre-Order. Remember, coming up on Wednesday is when our next sale begins. Um, so we'll have some more details then on what code you can use that will run Wednesday through the 7th of July for our Independence Day sale. So make sure to take advantage of that. Um, otherwise, the new mock contest is up and running. Submissions December 7th, as we saw on uh, Friday, our, our winners have been announced and they've gotten their prizes, etc. So that's, that's exciting to all of them. Thank you to everybody who participated in that. And let's go for round two. Yeah, absolutely. That, that, can, that uh, end of the contest came around way faster than I was expecting. So I'm, I'm suspecting the same thing's going to happen with this one. We're going to have a lot of releases coming out that mm -hmm. will help you out in making uh, your diorama. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm hard at work. I think we're all hard at work uh, with this next lineup, so I'm excited for that. Definitely some cool stuff in the pipeline. So that does it for the Monday sit rep. Thank you very much for watching.